Hello everyone, and welcome to episode 2 of Chernobylite. In this episode, we're going to be doing as many story missions as we can. For example, we have a mission for Mikhail, the man that came through on the radio, who seems to be our landlord. Uh, he wants us to destroy NAR servers. We also have a mission for a woman named Olga, who contacted me when I was playing offline, just kind of upgrading the base and getting more supplies. She lives in a village and needs our help with, I think, some monsters. So that should be interesting. And then uh, Olivier here, or Oliver, I've been calling him. He wants us to go find old KGB documents and use them against the NAR. All right. Well, with that being said, let's get into it. All right. So we are going to have Olivier here. They're on a mission to get us food. Uh, he's still kind of pissed off that we let that guy live from last mission. I think we were contacted by Mikhail first, so let's go on that one real quick. Do you really trust Mikhail? Perhaps you just want to follow the crazy and see how deep the rabbit hole goes. Once you cross that bridge, there's no turning back. The NAR will have you in their crosshairs. Moscow I, day eight. Yeah, we we had gone through about four or five days, I think, since the last episode, and that was simply because I wanted to snag supplies, get our base up and running. Although, silly me, I didn't realize that each day it's progressively harder. So, while I have more supplies, radiation and the air in our base actually it's progressively worse, so we have to use those supplies in order to keep up with our base's needs. Jesus, okay, this rads. These rads are messing with me. Stop right there. Don't move a muscle. Why are you pointing your gun at me, you barbarian? We've got bigger problems. What did you just call me? On the ground. I hate to break it to you, but there's a goddamn monster running around, <laughs> and I promise you it won't care about your little rifle. We have to get the hell out of here. On the ground, now. I won't tell you shit. Sorry, guys, I had to do it. I'm about to have you shoot this Thank man. you, kindly, citizen. I can tell you're a good man. Not like those vandals. I just need to catch my breath. Uh, shouldn't we be running from the monster? What? <laughs> Don't worry. That was just a ruse to get past these brutes. Really? It almost cost you your life. Audendum est fortis adjuvat ipsa venus. Yeah. What is that, Latin? What does it mean? It means you should have paid more attention in school, <laughs> citizen. Now go, before a real monster shows up. Yeah, no offense, pal, but I doubt that your COVID mask is going to protect you against radiation. Ooh, you're actually last episode. Yeah, it's like knocked the man out in this doorway, and at the end here there was a creepy little doll. Which isn't there anymore. Terrifying. I, Tatiana Amelieva, take you, Igor Kimunik, as my wedded husband, and I promise you love, honor and respect to be faithful to you and not to forsake you until death do us part that's sweet oh wait the shotgun's still there i can still get the shotgun just hope there isn't any actual demons in here this time Dragon slugs, oh yeah. More revolver ammo, plenty of slugs, plenty of slugs. Nice. For any of you who don't understand what uh, shotgun slugs are, shotguns have a different type of ammunition. There's buckshot, which is usually used for 
bucks deer. Bird shot, usually used for birds, which is smaller than buckshot. And then you have stuff like slugs, which is like shooting a rifle round through your shotgun. I'll just go with this. Alright, now we got a shotgun. That didn't look that bad. Starting to spot us. Take my shotgun out for good measure, but I'd rather take him out. Hi, how you doing? Goofy baby. Anyway. Shh, you see nothing. Keep looking over there. Just a minute, I'll be right with you. Ignore that clattering, it's fine. Thank you. Shut up. Yeah, go to bed. Nice. I think that was handled quite well. Alright, where does rifle go? His rifle went into the aether. Oh, wow. It launched. Because you forgot to top off the radiator with water, dumbass. That's why the fucking engine overheated. Come again? No, fuck you. You're the one who's supposed to top it off. That's your job. It's your fucking fault. Oh, really? You're such a good driver, are you, huh? Good. Then for fuck's sake, drive here and pick me up. Christ. Don't worry, you're fine. Your buddy can still come pick you up. Let's get to it. Okay, uh... What do I have to do? Sick. Alrighty then. First up, every mission needs a code name that is totally unrelated to the job itself. Any ideas? I don't care. I don't care. It's weird, but it's not going to work for our purposes. How about Panzerkampfwagen? Hey, you like it, right? <laughs> Good. Anyway, I tracked down the comms vehicle that does the rounds every week. There's a laptop inside that you need to get at. And? And upload an exploit that'll get you inside. I'll walk you through it. Fine. Let's hope it works. Look sharp! The truck is coming. Commence Operation Panzerkampfwagen! The fucking Panzerkampfwagen is on, my man! Over and out! So much for covert. I also don't understand why I needed to come into this building. The radio. And you could have just told me beforehand when it's going to arrive and I could have taken care of it. Like... Oh, hey, there's a guy there. Good thing I am. Finally. Worked in the art of stoke. Okay, shit, they're seeing me. Jesus. This storm, I, I don't have time for this. Hey, yeah, sorry. I was hoping to be stealthy about it, but I don't really have the time for it. What with this storm and all. Okay, here's the laptop. Mikhail, I've got the laptop. Tell me what to do. Great fucking job. Type in www.heartisalonelyhunter.ru and press enter. Download the last file in the column, the one called Sweet Lonely Boy Will Meet Sugar Mom. Cool name, yeah? Execute the file, and voila, you got access to their database. Uh, unless you screw something up. Next step is to get to the comms tower and strike the fatal blow. Hey, Igor, before you rush off, look for some intel first. You want to find Tatiana, remember? Olivier is right. There must be something in the NAR database about Tatiana. Fuck, no, you can't do that! If you start digging around, they'll lock you out, and we'll lose our shot at kicking them in the digital nuts. Remember, you still need to get to the comms tower and upload the actual virus. Can you provide some kind of distraction? Perhaps a fucking lootly. In fact, I've been waiting for you to ask.
Okay. Well, that looks like it fucked up. Ah, right, back over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a distraction. Did he just blow himself up? God damn it, Mikhail! Mikhail! <laughs> I'm fine. Yeah, but uh, don't come near the building. I think the charges were too close to the chemical dump. What do you think is in those barrels? Fuck! Maybe you should call Gas Rom's emergency line. <laughs> Just get the hell out of there! Ah, don't worry about me. Just wipe the servers. Go to www.partisalonelyhunter.ru, download Melly Panties of Doom, and execute. I wish you could search the data, but you only get to enter a single command before it boots you out, so no typos. Fuck this maniac, Igor. Query the database while you've got the chance. Yeah, I mean, I'm about to, I, I literally have a, a gun that can portal my way out of here. Mikhail, you can go fuck yourself. Sorry, Mikhail. I need to know if NER was involved in Tatiana's disappearance. So, Tatiana was under KGB surveillance. Why? What did they want with her? Interesting, I think. Yeah. All right. Mission success. Olivier also had a mission success. Dang, you brought back a good amount of food. Hey, Igor. How are you? I'm all right. What about you? Have you started to regret joining our little suicide squad yet? <sighs> no way. I live for this kind of thing. And since Anton's death, it's personal for me now. Hopefully you won't change your mind. Shadows, any archer, novelite, it's all a bit overwhelming. Years ago, I met a young pirate. Just a kid, really. I was part of a team retaking a hijacked cruise ship off the Somali coast. The kid's colleagues chained him to a machine gun so he couldn't escape, and told him to shoot anyone trying to board the ship. He was so scared when he saw us, he froze in place. The chain was too thick for us to cut, and we didn't know what to do with him. There was no way in hell we could turn our backs on a PKM. I could have knocked him unconscious, but a blow to the head with a rifle butt could just as easily kill him. So I did the only thing I could. I unloaded his weapon and broke the boy's fingers. On both hands, to be safe. When it was over, we brought him back to Canada. Trudeau found him a nice foster family. I understand you feel responsible for this mission, Igor. But I also have a stake in this. Trust me. I will do whatever it takes to see this through. Whatever it takes. I break his fingers who unloaded his weapon. He's chained to the weapon. It's not like he could go and try and attack you. You're, you're a sick bastard. Oh, we have enough uh, clues. Interesting. Whoa. That's kind of neat. But I'll... Shit, Jesus. Tanya! And... Wait, is that Boris? Beautiful, isn't it? Igor gave it to me for my birthday. <laughs> He's such a cute dork. It's from Leningrad. He's so sweet. A tiny dancer? That's all he sees you as, huh? He doesn't really understand you like I do. If you'd only give us a chance, Tanya. Boris, please don't make me go through this again. Don't destroy our friendship. You don't need to worry about that. I will always be your best friend, but I can't forget that evening when we were at the Silver Lake in Gachina, and you said... We had our moment, but it's in the past now. Please, just... Don't. If that's what you really want. But you're making a mistake, Tanya. 
Igor is too buried in his books to see the real you. He only sees the perfect little Slavic woman. Fragile, supportive, and obedient. You're not yourself around him, Tanya. Afraid of overshadowing his accomplishments. Scared of driving him away. With me, you would never have to pretend. Never have to be someone you're not. I've never been more myself than when I'm with Igor. Don't try to get in my head, Boris. I've made my choice. You need to accept that. I'm really sorry if I hurt you. I regret that. Let's just... let's just finish our tea. I need to be back home by five. What? I remember the music box. It was from Leningrad. Yeah, that's but what she said. Boris? Was he making a pass at Tanya? I trusted that son of a bitch. Was he? I mean, it's right here. It doesn't exactly look like Prip yet. I think we're all set. That was a great idea with the music box, Conrad Major. Boris was talking to the KGB? I should have seen it. He was always so overly ambitious. Yes, I'm positive. She's about to blow the lid off the whole thing. And with her affiliations, there's no telling how long it'll be before the Western press gets wind of the Duga project. So I recommend that you move fast, Conrad Major. We need to make sure that our work continues without distraction. She's a dangerous dissident and needs to be put away. As for Kiminyuk, we need him so our work can continue. He's not involved in Amalieva's machinations. He's quite naive. He's what Conrad Lennon would call a useful idiot. Except he also happens to be a brilliant scientist, of course. Thank you, Boris. It's good to know that you always had my back. And that you were involved in the plot to kidnap Tatiana. I think anyone that finds this kind of part of the story weird. Like, Igor's so obviously seeing things in front of him that this is what he's seeing. And yet he acts like he's only seeing half of the picture. Like, this story is complex and strange to me but even I'm able to piece it together better than he is Tanya what what do you want Tatiana Amlieva please come with us quietly it's better if you don't make a scene for your own sake okay, so the KGB's gotten a hold of Tanya. what's all this about who, who are you the better question is, who are you, Tatiana Femina Amlieva? Your father would be ashamed of you. Or does he know that you're plotting to betray your own motherland? Perhaps he's in on it too. What? I have no idea what you're talking about. We'll see about that. We're gonna have a nice, long chat, Amlieva. As it is, we've got a mutual friend, Amlieva. Boris told us all about you. No, he would never! The party has done so much for you, and this is how you repay us. You've got your head filled with this Western nonsense. Yes, yes. We've seen your contraband, this garbage. It makes me sick. You're not happy being a proper Soviet woman, eh? You've grown tired of pretending? Well, the game is over. Time to show your true face. You're a reactionist and a provocateur. Ready to sell your country's secrets to the CIA. Ooh. I'm sorry, I'm not being very professional as of right now. I had a late last I had a late night last night. So I am a sleepy. I have no idea what you're talking about. Please! Let me go! <laughs> what would your fiancé Igor have to say about this, hmm? He's such a good comrade. When he hears of this, he will despise you. If you continue to resist, we'll pay a visit to your family in Murmansk. Don't make us do that. The drive always puts me in a foul mood. Please, no, don't. I'll come willingly. Good girl. That's fucked up. That is fucked up. Uh, what are you doing? Get away from me! Don't touch me! Leave me alone! 
Perfect. God, what please. Happened? I can't take it anymore. Lord, have mercy. Kill me, please. Kill me. What the fuck is happening? I can't believe this is real. Boris was jealous of me and Tanya? And when she turned him down, he got back at her by informing on her to the KGB. That goddamn rat. I trusted him. Good. God. I knew she hated this system, but exposing state secrets to the Western press? Can that even be true? It could be. I don't know what to believe anymore. So, Boris had the hots for Tatiana, and when Tatiana turned him down, Boris. Hey, oh, hello! Jesus. Fuck! Is anyone there? Mikhail, are you okay? Not really. I'm fucking stranded in the building I blew up. And there's something. Something else is here. Hurry! You're gonna need a gas mask. Now look in the building next to the monument. I'm sure a bright fellow like you will find it right away. Should have thought about the barrels earlier. And this gas, it's intense. It's making me hear things, see things. Or it could just be the drugs he's on. Regardless, I can't just leave him there. What the fuck is that? It's trying to get me. Anyway, as I was saying before, Boris had the hots for Tanya, Tanya turned him down, Boris sold secrets to the West and ended on top so that the KGB would snatch her. Can you see the smoke around the Duggar radar? I'm pretty sure that's your new best friend, Mikhail. My dear Igor, you're like the old turtle who ferries creatures across the river on its back, even though some of them are scorpions. And a scorpion will sting. It can't help its nature. Hello, guy. Another respectable customer. Want to make the deal of your life? You're not afraid of trading here? Ah, I know what I'm doing, my good sir. I've been trading since the fall of the Soviet Union. And besides, no risk, no gain. Sounds like you've traveled a lot. Ah, the Grand Bazaar in Tehran, Jarmak, Europa in Warsaw, Taksim in Istanbul. I've been places, my friend. Oh, the things I've seen. I'll bet you have. I have to ask, how does desolate Pripyat compare to these colorful places? Hey, where there's demand, I provide supply. I'm the invisible hand of the free market. I've got Putin, Trump, and Gates on my speed dial. Is that right? What about Steve Jobs? What? Yeah, him too. Who's Steve Jobs? Of course. Anyway, money makes the world go round. But bartering is also good. You want to trade? I'm looking for someone. Perhaps you've heard her name. Tatiana. Tatiana Amelieva. She used to work at the power plant. She went missing. 30 years ago. Oh, I'm sorry, my friend. It's been a while since I've seen a woman. I've been too busy. Busy? With what? With creating a new world of opportunities, my friend. I'm like Gordon Gecko, only smarter. And like Jack Ma, only more hardworking. I'm gonna build my commercial empire on the ashes of Chernobyl in no time. Good luck. Good luck building your fortune. Mr. Invisible Hand. Ah, <laughs> thanks. But I'll make my own luck. Some stimp stomping around inside there. Where the stairs at? I hate. Jesus!
fish and there's different kinds of enemies. Am I good? Am I... Jesus! So that one shadow took out like, all these dudes. I believe it. We I mean, one time and took three health. Plenty of ammo, damn. It's not. Oh, you got it, buddy. Where that buddy at? <laughs> Sorry, I meant to do a stealth takedown. It did not work. I was I was aiming my gun. I didn't think. Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, I kind of want to put one in me again. Just for memes, but... Nah, I don't think I'll... Do I need a gas mask? You need a gas mask. Um, ow, ow, ow. Use... Okay. I assume I have to follow it. Mikhail, there he is. Up, 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 it's time to go. Oh, that's not God, him. I, what is in those barrels? Must be some kind of incapacitating agent. Maybe substance 78. The mask isn't stopping it. Gotta find Mikhail and get out of here fast. You're not Mikhail. Oh, oh Jesus. stronger. If we don't leave now, we'll stay here forever. Fuck off, you treacherous cunt! <sighs> Igor? Hey, what are you doing here? About the NAR database. Can we put it behind us now? You saved my ass back there. And I'm grateful. That doesn't mean I trust you. But you can trust me. We have. Yeah. I might have. Ah, okay, I guess you're Why don't you come back to the warehouse with me? You need rest. Uh, how about we play a game of hide and go fuck yourself? You screwed us both over, and now you want my help? And not fucking likely. Listen, Mikhail. I I'm sorry I had to deviate from the plan. Fuck! That's rich! You didn't deviate! You went exactly fucking against it! I know, I know. But I was there for you when you were trapped, helpless, alone, hallucinating about your mummy and her. Let me stop you right there, bud. You can talk about me being an alcoholic, a junkie, a criminal, and a rapist, but you cannot, and I want to make sure you understand this. 
You cannot ever talk about my mother! Do I make myself fucking clear? Be all right, all right, yes, I get it. You really need some help. Yeah, I did need help. I needed your help, and you failed me. The end. Just come back to the warehouse, and we can straighten this thing out when we've both calmed down. Don't freak out, okay? Alright then.